Hey friends, Brian King here. I was having a great conversation with a young man today who happens to have Asperger's. And a point came up that I've been seeing all through the years, through all the years I've been coaching uh, kids on the autism spectrum and ADHD. I see this same thing showing up every single time. And it is one of the biggest obstacles to these kids being successful. And this may happen for people in general, you know, it probably does. But I see it the most with Aspies because that's who I work with. And they have these two lies that, that they believe. And it's not something they were taught. It's something they just concluded, okay? And the first law is nobody else ever needs help. Everything just seems to work for them. So while they're struggling with their math or writing a paper, they're looking at everybody else around them and they're assuming that those people never experience any resistance. Those people have it easy, it's smooth sailing. So I said to this young man, I said, you know, when did you decide that that was true? What makes you think that these people never have any problems? And he says, you know, well, I, I never see them have problems. So I asked him, do you ever see him take a shower? <laughs> he says, no. I said, it doesn't mean they're not doing it. You know, they, they're taking a shower, going to the bathroom, they're watching their favorite TV show. Just because you don't see them do it doesn't mean it isn't happening. So this whole out of sight, out of mind, them believing that their perception of the world is the way it is, and if it isn't there, it isn't to be concluded. You know, it isn't to be included in their worldview. So I challenge this young man. I don't know if he's going to do it. I challenged him to go on Facebook and ask the people in his population, hey, did you have any struggles through high school or was everything easy for you? And see what kind of responses he gets. Now here's the second lie they tell themselves, is if I ask for help, it means I'm weak. And guess why he believes this? Same reason as the other one. I never see anybody doing it. And we're in Illinois, I am, and we have two seasons in Illinois, winter and construction. So right now, there are a lot of men and women in hard hats and they're working on the highways and so on. So I asked him, you're driving down the highway and you see all these construction crews. And he says, yeah. I said, is there just one guy doing everything? Or are there a bunch of guys helping him? Or is there one guy doing everything and everybody else is just watching? He says, well, no, everybody's helping out. I said, exactly. There are no circumstances in this world where you do something alone. There was a, I, I read in a news article about a gentleman that just climbed El Capitan in Yellowstone. If anybody doesn't know what that is, it's a huge rock formation with a sh totally sheer face, totally flat. And there are cracks where you have to climb up. Well, this guy was the first one to do it without any safety gear, which is, you know, very brave. But he didn't do it without help. Okay? And this is what I mean. He had to wear special rock climbing shoes. So it would make it easier for him to get his toes in little crevices. So even if he was climbing up that mountain butt naked, if all he had on was those shoes, he was being helped by whoever designed those shoes. Whoever manufactured them helped him. If he began rock climbing with other people that showed him the ropes, or if there were other rock climbing heroes that he aspired to be like, the influence of those people, the lessons they taught him that he then utilized that day to climb the rock, those people helped him even though they weren't there. So there's no such thing as independence. So I challenged him to go out and ask again, what kind of things do you need help with? What kind of things do you ask for help to do? Because these two lies are things that we really need to shatter in the minds of our kiddos. Because they think that they are supposed to be an island. They think that everything is on their shoulders, that everybody else succeeds on their own. They're born with this downloaded competence 
that allows them to sail through life without any resistance, and yet our kiddos were singled out for a rough life. That's what they think. So we need to challenge them. When they say, I never see anybody doing it, ask them simple basic questions. Do you ever see anybody take a shower? You know? Do you ever see them sleep at night? No. Does that mean they, they're up all night? They're insomniacs just because you don't see it? You don't see it as not evidence. You need to ask them. And our kiddos, if they do it, will be very surprised by the answer. So hopefully this has been helpful. If so, go ahead and share it with other people. You know, I'm here to help. And check out a new website I just launched. It's called BrianCanHelp.com. And this video and many others are going to be placed there. So check it out and have some fun. And if you like it, tell other people about it too. This has been Brian. We'll talk again soon.